Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I got questions about you know uh, Chat GPT that we talk about a lot in the news lately about its um, you know artificial intelligence and how it works, and um, something new is actually happening also that has AI in it, and it's uh, Microsoft's new Bing engine that you can try at Bing.com/new. Now it says that you can. Uh, can add yourself on a waiting list to use it, um, and you can, of course, access the new Bing faster, as it says here in the devices, if you have an, uh, a, a, um, a smartphone and so on. So this is the new Bing, and that is like ChatGPT, using a form of AI. And um, AI is in the news uh, this year. It's the term, uh, artificial intelligence. Um Right now, one of the things that is obvious is that it's mostly scooping, um, you know, and searching through the internet for answers and aggregating that into a answer that you will have about a question and so on. And it's actually surprisingly good, and it might have sometimes a little bit of factual errors, but it will get better, and it will get much better over time, making... Um, and, you know, look at schools. Schools are the first place that um, they're kind of scared because when will we know when an AI um, answer or paper um, can be differen differ differentiated from a official paper made by a student? So it's difficult to make a difference, and uh, this is... Not yet difficult, but will become more and more a problem over time. And so Bing is now bringing this also. And it brings to a question that I have for you guys. All of these chat GPT AI, uh, Bing now will be using artificial intelligence. Of course, AI will be built in devices, will be built in all sorts of hardware. Does it scare you? Is AI and the possibility of having machines that use this to make their own decisions scare you? Are we on the threshold of Terminator? Uh, this is an interesting thing. You know, uh, a lot of this, the, the um, I think a lot of the fear from it comes from the fact of the unknown as to where and up to what point it is. Uh, going forward and how far are we ahead in this uh, search but it's obvious that you know within 5 10 15 20 years AI will be very powerful um, so does it scare you and what do you think uh, this could bring as a problem one of the obvious things about it also is using AI to replace actual people uh, they're talking about for example the news on TV being actually read by an AI um, person. You know, it's, it would be a basically a computerized image that looks like a human and computerized AI news. Um, up to what point, at some point, would we see a difference between real people and a machine? Uh, so uh, give me your answers below. Does it scare you? Um, are you looking forward to it? And uh, just uh, it's going to be interesting to, to see the answers to this. And, of course, we'll come back with a video where we'll talk about some of these answers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget, if you want to go to the new uh, Bing, bing.com slash new, you can put yourself on a waiting list. Uh, depending on where you are, you might even get access. I don't know if it's maybe because in the U.S. maybe the access is uh, quicker. But check it out. That's the AI Bing that is going to give you access here.